dear students let us begin with thermodynamics the definition of thermodynamics is it is a science which deals with transfer of energy and its effects on physical properties of system okay the two words are there that is a transfer of energy energy and its effects on physical property of system energy is a transfer from one system to the other system by two ways these two ways are first is heat and second one is work both are the ways of, of transfer of energy from one system to the other systems in heat it transfer of energy from one system to the other system due to thermal differences and the work the heat the work, uh, energy is transfer by mechanical means okay the heat transfer energy due to thermal differences and work transfer energy by mechanical way thermal differences means there is temperature differences between one system and other system suppose a system is having higher temperature and other system a vessel and in this vessel there is water which is lower temperature then there is a th thermal differences thermal differences lower temperature and higher temperature therefore the heat is transfer from higher temperature to the lower temperature after some times that water gain energy due to energy transfer from this body or this system to the other system due to thermal differences isn't it during the thermal uh, during the transfer of energy by heat there is position of molecules or particles is changed because the temperature increases of any body it means there is kinetic energy of particle increases therefore the particles due to increase in kinetic energy so vibrating its original position is changed also the particles of water here particle position in change okay three points we have seen about heat heat is transfer energy due to thermal differences thermal differences means there is a temperature differences one system is having higher temperature and other system becomes lower temperature that's why energy is transfer from higher te uh, temperature to the lower temperature up to the equilibrium will be obtained then second point we have seen that is the particle position of the matter or system is changed during transfer of energy from one system to the other system due to 
by heat isn't it now how the energy transfer from work work transfer energy by mechanical way Me mechanical way means it should require force and displacement then and then energy is transferred from one system to the other system suppose a matter at the zero height is transferred from or displaces from this position to h position then some energy is gained by this uh, displaced system the energy gained by mass into gravitational constant and height due to the displacement of this system and the particle position in this system remains constant when energy is transferred by work isn't it therefore these are heat that is heat and work both are the way of transfer of energy and remember that work and heat are not energy is just way of transfer of energy suppose uh, some passenger if there is some passenger is there okay this passenger is suppose these are the we consider these are the energy and some transport that is bus is there and this energy is this transport is nothing but the heat these energy are transfer from a point to b point this by this uh, bus or transport agent then this is the heat and this energy energy is a transfer from a to b by using this bus therefore bus is not we consider as a passenger like that heat and work are not energies these are just mode of transfer of energy from one point to the other point isn't it work can be converted into heat and heat can be converted into work these are both are the interconverting but the total heat is not 100 uh, in 100% work but total work can be converted into heat 100% heat is that clear now first point we have clear that is the transfer of energy and second is the physical property of system the physical property means the temperature pressure and volume changes in system these are the physical properties what is the meaning of systems the next point the meaning of systems the universe is divided into two parts suppose this is universe one of the chemical reaction we carried out in a test tube the test tube is a, a system where we have study this physical properties the system is a part of universe which is under in under thermodynamic consideration where we all these physical properties will be changed isn't it and the part of that is the universe 
the part of universe excluding this system, excluding this to remove from this part, remove from this universe, remaining part is a surround. Is it? Universe is divided into system and surroundings. Therefore, system plus surrounding is equal to universe. Is it? The system is again divided in a number of types. The basically the types are first is the open system, second one is the closed system, third one is the adaptive system. Depends upon these all systems, depends upon exchange of exchange of matter and energy to the surrounding. Depending upon phases, the system is divided into homogeneous system and Second is the heterogeneous system. And depends upon number of particles, system is again divided into depends upon particle. The macroscopic system. The open system is a system where both exchange, both that is matter and energy can be exchanged with sound. For example, a boiling water. Okay, this boiling water exchange energy and also it exchange the matter with surrounding. The second system, the vessel, the boil water with lead, it exchanges energy but not exchanges matter. Matter remains entangled with this matter. It not goes outside of in surround. Okay, first system, there is no exchange of matter and energy. In second system, there is exchange of, uh, there is only exchange of energy, not matter. Third system is the adiabatic process. Uh, system. In this system, neither matter, neither energy is exchanged with surroundings. Thermostat is the an example of adiabatic system. In thermostats, when you uh, there is a uh, hot tea is there, it remains hot. That is no energy is exchanged with surrounding and no matter is exchange exchanged with surrounding. Okay, that is in adiabatic process, no matter and no energy is exchanged with surrounding. Depending upon phases, the systems are divided into two types, homogeneous system and heterogeneous system. The phases means that is your solid, liquid and gases. In a homogeneous system, the phases are only one phases is there and in a heterogeneous system more than two phases are there. 
Suppose if if water plus alcohol they they are mixed. No distinct phases observable. Therefore, it is a homogeneous system. If we add oil and water together, the there is a distinct separable oil and water is there. Therefore, two phases are there. Both are the liquid phases. First liquid phase is separate from this uh, liquid phase. Therefore, though it possesses only one liquid phase, but both are distinct things. Therefore, this system is a heterogeneous system. If NaCl plus water, NaCl totally dissolving water, though there are the two phases, that is one is the solid and other is the liquid, but when they mix, they form the homogeneous mixture, not distinguishable uh, uh, phases observable, therefore this system is called as the homogeneous system. Okay, this is all about the homogeneous system and heterogeneous system. The macroscopic system means where the system has the large number of particles, that is atoms, molecules, such type of uh, particles. If in large quantity, that system is called as the macroscopic system. Okay, therefore. Here we explain just definition of thermodynamics. In this definition, the important thing was transfer of energy by heat and work. We have explained it. And second part was the physical changes in system due to transfer of energy. Both these two points. We have explained. Thank you very much.